हेलो गाइस वेलकम बैक एंड दिस इज द एलेवेंथ पार्ट ऑफ द अपकमिंग वीडियो सीरीज ऑफ क्लास ट्वेल्व प्रैक्टिकल एग्जाम्स द फर्स्ट एंड हैव बिन ऑलरेडी अपलोड ऑन द चैनल सो वॉच दिस वीडियो आल्सो वेरी केयरफुली इन ऑर्डर टू अचीव फुल मार्क्स इन बोर्ड एग्जामिनेशन प्रैक्टिकल्स एंड इट विल हेल्प यू अ लॉट सो वॉच दिस वीडियो टिल द एंड ऑल्सो हिट द बेल आइकन इफ यू लाइक द वीडियो एंड सब्सक्राइब अर चैनल फॉर मोस्ट सर्च वीडियोज एंड अदर इंपॉर्टेंट टॉपिक्स ऑन फिजिक्स एंड इंपॉर्टेंट टॉपिक्स फॉर नीट एग्जाम्स एंड क्लास ट्वेल्व बोर्ड एग्जामिनेशन As you can see in this image, the objective of this practical is to draw a IV characteristic curve for a PN function in forward bias and reverse bias. Here, IV stands for I is for current and V for voltage, as you already know. For this practical, we need the following things: a PN junction diode, a power supply one to one point five volts and zero to fifteen volts, with potential divider arrangement or a rheostat, a resistance of ten ohms, a DC voltmeter range zero to three volts, a milliampere range zero to thirty milliamperes. ADC microammeter range 0 to 500 microamperes a DC voltmeter range 0 to 15 volts one way key or switch connecting wires and a piece of sandpaper This image shows a formula that is being used for performing this practical. Here, R F is equal to delta V F upon delta I F, and R R is equal to delta V R upon delta I R. F stands for forward bias, and R stands for reverse bias. V stands for voltage, and I stands for current. Delta V is for change of voltage, and delta I for change in current. This image shows the procedure by which the practical that we are going to perform is done. So watch this image carefully because the procedure have to be followed thoroughly and neatly so that you can get full marks in your practicals. This image shows a circuit diagram that has been to be followed while performing this experiment. The first one shows for the circuit diagram of PN function in forward bias, and the second one is for the reverse bias PN function. So the circuit has to be followed very carefully; otherwise, errors might occur. This image shows the observation that have been made while performing this practical. The least count of the voltmeter has been obtained for the two voltmeter. That is, first is zero to three volts and second is zero to twelve volts. Then, least count of milliampere has been obtained and the least count of microampere has also been obtained. This image shows the observation table that has been made, and the readings have been taken a lot of times so that the sources of error are minimized. So watch this image very carefully. This image shows the way of how the graph that has to be made is to be plotted because in this practical the graph is the important thing and as you can see the aim is also that the characteristic curve has to be obtained which means the graph has to be plotted so the method of plotting the graph is very important for this practical
this image shows the graph of the experiment so watch this graph carefully because it's very important and you must know the plotting of the graph correctly This image shows the result that has been obtained after the practical is complete. The voltage and the current characteristic of PN junction is forward and is reversed by seeing the knee voltage VK is 0.4 volts and the Zener breakdown voltage is 25 volts. Forward resistance and reverse resistance of the ampere are 28.5 ohms and 0.02 ohms respectively. This image shows the precautions that have to be taken while performing this practical. As I've already mentioned, precautions are very important and they have to be kept in mind while performing this practical so that the source of error are minimized. Thank you. Thank you so much for watching this video. And if you have liked the video, place the bell icon and also subscribe to our channel if you want to watch more such videos and other videos on physics topics. And if you want to watch videos based for NEET and class 12 board examinations and other competitive examinations a new mcq series has been started for especially neat and class 12 board examination watch them also they will prove very helpful to you thank you thank you once again